हेलो आई नमस्ते इन कंटिन्यूशन विद द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव डन इन डिटेल अबाउट एवरीथिंग अबाउट द सिंप्लेक्स मेथड अलोंग विद द डिफरेंट मेथड्स मैक्सिमाइजेशन टाइप मिनिमाइजेशन टाइप देयर फ्लो चार्ट्स एवरीथिंग वी हैव डन इन डिटेल आफ्टर गोइंग अ हेड विद दैट सपोज वी हैव गॉट द सिनारियो वेन एवर वी हैव टू हैव द सरप्लस वेरिएबल इन इन द बेसिस एट दैट टाइम वी हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस द अनादर वेरिएबल टू मेक इट और यू कैन जो गो हेड दू स्टार्ट विद द सिंप्लेक्स मेथड with a new variable that's known as an artificial variable now whenever we have to deal with the artificial variable the bigam method or the method of penalties will come into the existence actually the artificial variable have no meaning in physical sense and are not used as a tool for generating an initial solution to the lp problem before the optimal solution is reached all artificial variables must be dropped out from the solution mix this is done by assigning the property appropriate coefficients to the variables in the objective function these variables are added to those constraints with equality and greater than or equals to that is greater than or equals to sign in this particular type of constraint now let us go and introduce this the uh, methods of penalties and bigam method in detail now uh, this this particular method is uh, one of the method of removing artificial variables from the basis the large undesirable unacceptable penalty coefficients to the artificial variables are assigned from the point of view of the objective function if the objective function capital z is to be minimized then a very large positive price that is plus m called penalty is assigned to each artificial variable if z is of maximized then a very la large negative price that is minus m also called penalty is assigned to each of this variables the penalty is supposed to be assigned by minus m for the maximization problem so we are assigning minus m for the maximize uh, for the uh, maximization problem and plus m plus m for the minimization problem where capital m is greater than 0 now here in the bigam method for solving an lp problem can be summarized in the following steps step number 1 express the lp problem in the standard form by adding slack variable surplus variable and or the artificial variables assign a zero coefficient to both slack and surplus variables then so we have to assign this uh, the coefficient zero in the slack of surplus variable in the objective function then assign a very large coefficient My plus m for minimization, minus m for maximization case to the artificial variable in the objective function. That is the step one. So we are writing in the step one the standard form. Step two, the initial basic feasible solution is obtained by assigning zero value to decision variables. So x one, x two, x three, and so on would be assigned as zero and getting the initial basic feasible solution. Getting the initial basic feasible solution will have to follow this. Then next is step number 3 calculate the values of cj minus zj in the last row of the simplex table and examine these values if all cj minus zj is greater than or equals to 0 then the current basic feasible solution is optimal if the uh, if a column for a column k ck minus zk is most negative and all entries in the column are negative then problem has unbounded optimal solution very important to know unbounded optimal solution if one or more cj minus zj is less than 0 for minimization case then select a variable to enter in the basic solution mix actually this is the minimization minimization case but every time as we have already discussed in the simplex method also it is possible to convert the minimization question by uh, to a maximization so minus of minimization will gives us the maximization question and we can follow the same method what we used to do it for the questions so far so here also we'll be doing the same thing the minimization question we are uh, trying to convert we'll be converting into maximization and then we'll solve the questions accordingly but yes this particular uh, steps i have given for them also that whoever wanted to convert or did not be con uh, wanted to convert min to max or max to min so this is i am i'm discussing for the minimization case and maximization case both of them so to enter the basis solution mix with the large largest negative cj minus zj value largest per unit reduction in the objective function value this value also represents the opportunity cost of non having not having one unit of variable in the solution 
that is ck minus zk is minimum of all of them cj minus zj which is less than 0 step number 4 determine the key row key key element in the same manner as discussed in the simplest what we have discussed in the maximization case and step 5 is continue with the procedure to update solution at each iteration till the optimal solution is obtained so it, it this begin method is as good as as same as that what we have discussed in the simplex method there is only change in the this type of this capital m and a my, uh, minus m plus m and so on so what we'll be discussing this in detail with the help of example now a few of the remarks at any iteration of the simplex algorithm one of the following cases may arise if at least one artificial variable is a basic variable that is a variable that is present in the basis with zero value and the coefficient of of it is capital m in each cj minus zj values is negative negative is non negative then the given lp problem has no solution it's very important case to note it down the remarks very important this type of exam this type of mcqs you can expect in the examinations like TOEFL examination, GATE examination, so extracurricular examinations will be expecting, you should expect this type of MCQ type of questions. That is the current solution, basic uh, basic feasible solution is degenerate. Then the sec second is if at least one artificial variable is present in the basis with a positive value and the coefficient m in each cj minus zj values is non-negative. The given LP problem has no has no optimum basic feasible solution. So we will not have the basic feasible solution for in this case. In this case, the given LP problem has a serial optimal basic feasible solution. So whenever the, the artificial variable present and we have reached to the algorithm or the terminated the, the algorithm is getting terminated. At that time, we, do, we should not have the uh, optimum solution or a basic feasible solution at that case. But that solution is known as a zero or optimal, zero optimal basic feasible solution. So this is all about the uh, big M method and we will be discussing in detail again this type of method with the help of examples. Thank you so much. Happy learning.